Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season one, episode six of Dawson's Creek. Uh, this time the title of the episode is Baby. I really love that the titles, at uh, least for this season, are like short one word titles. I really like that. Um, previous episode, if I'm not wrong, was the hurricane episode, right? Where uh, finally Dawson's mom confessed to her husband that she has been unfaithful. Um, it was a very eventful episode. Doesn't, wait, he's kind of annoying sometimes, but you know, he's just the, he's a very dramatic, <laughs> self-involved type of teenager, which I guess all teenagers are in a way, right? Young teen, I don't know, I, I think he's 15, 16, 16, I think, right? Or 16, 17, something like that. But you know what? He's a little bit too much for me. Um, and Pace is still with his affair with Tamara, who I hope gets, uh, you know, they find out and she's sent to prison where she belongs. Uh, but anyways, we're here ready to do episode six. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like my reaction. I hope you guys continue to burn for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for Donald's Creek. Uh, so far, I like the show, you know, and I, I think that we have a lot to talk about after as well. So that's a really good sign. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Um, I know there has been some sort of break, I'm pretty sure, between, especially for YouTube and on Patreon as well. It's just because I've been sick. That's the reason why. But we're back and we're ready to do more reaction videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Dawson's Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode six of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. But you can't leave now. We've only watched one movie. We never watched just one movie on movie night. No. First time for everything. <sighs> and oh. the firsts all around. <laughs> Why is she in the chair? <laughs> well, the, the, the bed is small. I, I get it. But like, oh. Besides, Grams has kind of been on the warpath, meaning once she sees Joey leave, there's no way she's going to trust you and I alone, so oh. that's why I should go. Well, don't leave on my account. I mean, I'm not interested in ruining anyone's evening. I love no, how, no, uh, how aware one of, like, both of them are of each other, and, like, I don't want to intrude, and, like, the other one is like, I don't want to intrude, and, like, while I'm here, like, why isn't Dawson leaving? <laughs> you two stay here and become besties, or more. Well, and since this is my house and we assume that I can't go anywhere, according to my calculations, it only leaves one option. Night, Night Dawson. Dawson. Oh. <laughs> They're <Wow>. both leaving. <laughs> Don't stay up too late. <laughs> Movie night. Mm. Oh, of course, the grandma doesn't approve. Don't care who's hanging them. In my house, we don't ogle naked men. Now we pray to them, right? True. Don't you dare come <laughs> Why not? Oh, Lord Jennifer. Well, have you heard this? No, oh, what, that he finally handed a homework assignment in on time? Uh, not exactly, and it's not just about Pacey. It also involves Miss Jacobs. Oh, oh shit. Well, let's just say that for a student and teacher, they have an exceptionally close relationship. It's out there. It's prevalent. Yeah, once it's out, out there, it's out oh, there. It doesn't. Is it true? It doesn't. I mean, I he think he's... You. I told you that before. Do me a favor, pretend you never asked me that question. That's pretty much saying yes, you know? Uh oh. Uh oh, Paisy. Look at this baby! You know, like, like nothing happened, right? Yeah. I got not a care in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's an actually a good idea. Will you be able to do it? Is that the smile of a winner also? Like, yes, I did bang her. Uh-oh. This did not work out. Keep up with the running commentary, Mr. Twitchell. I'll see you after class. You promise? Oh, damn. All right, settle down. Where were we? 
<clears throat> you really had to talk about Romeo and Juliet. Forbidden fruit. <laughs> Shit. You know what? Don't look at Pacey like that. You are the responsible adult. Imagine that, Pacey. We actually have something in common. Imagine that. Providing gossip for the small-minded townsfolk. That's kind of sweet. Yeah. I hope, like, up until now we have only seen them fight. So this is kind of sweet. I'm finding this kind of sweet. Okay, okay. So what do I do now? Same thing I did. You pray like hell for a better story to come along. <laughs> I love how I love how emotionally mature she is, you know? And she kinda like it's not like that type like like Dawson sometimes. But like that type of like or even that type of friend who, you know, thinks that they have the right advice and, like, they will just give you this long... No, she actually made it relatable, you know? She made she made him seem, hey, you're not alone in this rumor thing, you know? I have And, like, she offered her same experience to him to kind of, like, you know, make him feel better. Which is, I'm pretty sure this is the first time they talk... Without, you know, fighting or something like that. Which is like, it was really nice. Okay, and they have a, like, they have a lot of chemistry. I don't want to say, like, romantic chemistry. Or maybe I do. I don't know, but that, it was really cute. Okay? Dinner's at six. I'd like you washed up and at the table then, please. Sure. <laughs> the girl is really annoying. <laughs> Honestly, hopefully there's a room for for. For Bessie. growth there. Oh. Bessie. Why? You're about because to have the baby? I'm really certain I'm in labor. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do we do? There's really only... Wait. One way to get there from here. Oh. <laughs> She's not about to give birth in the middle of this lake. Right? Or river. Whatever it is. Oh, my God, Bessie. The boat's leaking. It's the not boat. the boat, Joey. Oh. Then what is it? <sighs> Her water just broke. <laughs> My sister's having her baby. Cool, congratulations. On your lawn. Oh, <laughs> the what? <laughs> get off your oversized backside and get us an ambulance before my fetus enters college. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. You know what, Tamara? Do not even get to me right now. You don't tell your friends and you don't brag to your classmates. Although now I, I wonder if discretion is just too adult a concept for a boy to grasp. Wait, you know what, Tamara? I, I want you to hear my side of the story, okay? It's not what you think. Well, I've got one idea that fits the bill. Let's break up. <sighs> you know what, bitch? You deserve so much better, Pacey. I knew that you were gonna end up with your heart broken after this. I wanna hug him. I fucking hate Tamara. Am I the only one who hates tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Look, I know you don't like me or- Yeah, the racist. Oh, man. You could remember that as a nurse, you took an oath to help others meet and well... That'd be really nice. <laughs> of course she's gonna help. She's gonna be judgmental, I guess. But she's gonna help. I've got someone to help you. Please don't tell me you've done what I think you've done. Come on, the baby's... <laughs> How far apart are the contractions? <laughs> Dustin is like, oh my god, drama! This is perfect for my movie. <laughs> Mr. Winter, I must again ask you to please refrain from communicating directly with my client. In addition, should you feel the need to speak with her at any future date, you're instructed to contact me, and I'll pass along any pertinent information. Is that clear? Oh, uh, now you're being like an adult, Tamara. You know what? Don't even uh, look at him. Don't even look at him like that. Tamara. I fucking hate this woman. Poor Joy. Okay. Look at Joy. Time to push now. Push what? The baby. The baby. Yeah. Sweetheart. I don't think she wants to be pushed. Be okay, Joey. Miss Jacobs is my English teacher. And <laughs> to my great disappointment, Absolutely nothing else. Honestly, you know what? Pacey is a great guy. 
he's he really is you know uh for him to like take the blame right now that it it was just a rumor that he was just talking to his friend and it was just all made up you know, and that it never happened. And to take responsibility for all of this, like an adult, when you expect this bitch to be the adult in this situation, but God forbid, and for her to act in a decent way, no, no, no. But like, that speaks volumes of Pacey, I, I feel. I really, I really love him. Yes. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Look at Trey. Okay, in English? I need your help, Jennifer. And shut up. I need you to set aside <laughs> your attitude and second guessing and help me get this baby out of her before God forbid she loses any more blood and complications worsen. Okay, fair you enough. You can do that, Jennifer. Fair enough, both of you. Could you can summon up even the smallest amount of faith in me because if you can, I guarantee you there'd be no better time for it than right now. Well, you know what? It, it, it really there is no there is no need to panic and to make her panic. You know, Bessie. So, yes. And where the fuck is the ambulance? But on, up until the ambulance is here, we need to do what she's doing. And she's a licensed nurse, so she might know a few things. Although I think that being, like, with 911 on the phone and receiving, you know, some sort of, of, of help will have been perfect. But maybe they didn't have that service back then in the 80s. I don't know where this... The 90s, right? I don't know. <laughs> <gasps> Repeat after me. Our Father who art in heaven. A sedative. She needs a sedative. Graham's not. I don't think we, she needs the the word of the Lord right now. Please. The Lord's prayer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Ryan. That stuff's not gonna work on me. No, dear. It's for your baby. I'll tell you, that boy has been nothing but a bane since he was a child. In trouble here, creating a ruckus over there. Well, then you must be very proud. Proud? I don't quite follow you tomorrow. Of the way he's grown up from an unruly child to a sweet sensitive intelligent young man and douglas it's miss jacobs yeah don't be sassy with me right now don't you think that you saying those sweet things about him are gonna make you a good person you're not uh oh oh there's your sister you can do it Oh, I'm gonna cry. I can do it. Oh, you! Oh, the blood. That's so beautiful, right? That's always beautiful. <laughs> I'm leaving Cape Sire. I'm glad. I'm glad. I've already turned in my resignation to Principal Geiger, and I should be at my sister's house in Rochester by tomorrow evening. Good for you. Don't waste any time, do you? No, I'm glad. I knew this was gonna end with his heart broken. Enjoy high school. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not gonna be able. To, no, I'm not gonna see you again. Hopefully, ever again. Fly back there with me. I'm glad that this whole thing is over. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode six of Dawson's Creek. I think that so far, this is one of my favorite episodes. Um, You know, I'm getting used to the pace of the show, the long monologues that the characters have. Um... And honestly, this was a really good episode. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, mostly because Tamar is gone, apparently. You know, and like, I really hope that we don't see her again. Because like I said, just like her relationship with, with, with him, it was just wrong, okay? I understand that Pacey wanted this, you know, uh, that she never actually, you know... Um, force him but it's still wrong it's still illegal like 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 they said in like 35 states you know because he is 16 and like imagine if this was reverse you know if it was a man preying on on a young girl it will be just you know cat catastrophic and it will be horrible so i'm glad 
that um, it's over. Um, I, I feel so proud of Pacey for taking on the blame. Um, they know, even his brother, you know, thinks of him as the school, you know, just the prankster and just like the one who really, you know, it, it wants the attention and all of that. So he used that fame that he has and he was like no nah, honestly I just made it I just made everything up you know it was just like and here's the thing you know how rumors are you know as much as the guy who was inside of the of the stall could have hear everything correctly rumors go get passed down and like certain things are changed and like you know so of course the real thing that that uh Pacey said is not actually what everyone believed to be true, you know? Uh, so I really like that we kind of put it, an end to it and that we didn't drag this more because, let's be real, there was no future there in the relationship because it is just, it's starting in a really weird note, you know, where there's this power struggle there because she is the teacher, she is... 15 years older than he is, you know, and, or I don't know, 20 years older, whatever it is that they are, she's, but she's way older than him, and she holds a position of power, she is the teacher, you know, so I'm glad it didn't last more than it did, I could have saved it with, like, it happened once and we don't talk about it anymore, I knew from the get-go that Pacey was gonna get his heart broken, but, you know, as romantic as they made it seem, um, the goodbye and, like, all of that, honestly, I was ready for her to go. I was ready for her to go. I was ready for Pacey to move on from this because it's not the type of story that I want from him. And now, it's one of the first sto stories that we get from him, which gets to tell you, like, who he is, you know, as, as a character as well, you know, a dreamer, someone who will follow his heart rather than, you know, the logical thing, I guess, and like, how much heart really he has, you know, and how mature he is, and how not everyone gives him the credit for it, you know, he's the class clown, you know, and like, that's what what Pacey's supposed to be, and they lock him in that, and they don't allow him to to grow. But he has grown, you know. The fact that he took uh, sole responsibility for for um, for what happened, I think it was just incredible, you know. And just gets to tell you how good of a guy, how emotionally mature he actually is, you know, to taking, for taking all the blame. Yeah, you could say, oh, they're, we're trying to make it, you know, romantic and whatever. And yes, you can say that, um, but I'm going to take it for what it means for the character going forward. You know, I really don't care about Tamara. I really don't care about the relationship. I am actually 100% happy that she's gone and she's out of his life. Hopefully she doesn't come back uh, either, you know. And and yes, Pacey will have to deal with this. He will be sad. But at the end of the day, he will find someone, right? He will find someone, hopefully his own age or around his age. And he gets to do and live and do the high school things, you know, that kids his age get to do, right? I really like the conversation he had with Joey. So far, like, six episodes in, and we have never seen them talk without, you know, going at it to each other, you know, like, just saying mean things about each other. So in this opportunity, um, uh, Joey sees that Pacey's going through a hard time, you know, and it's not like she forced the, um, the conversation or anything, and it's actually her who reaches out and Pacey's like, hey, it, maybe you just saw me and like, it, trust me, it wouldn't be rude if you want to continue walking. And she didn't. And she actually told him, hey, there will be other rumors tomorrow and it will pass. And she made it relatable. You know, she made it like, hey, you're not the odd fish out. You're not that you are, you know, 
you're it's it's hard where you're going through but like don't get into your head and like you know it was really sweet it was really sweet and they they look so like comfortable talking to one another you know without having to be mean <laughs> with each other which it was sweet it was very very sweet i don't know i felt something but you know i, I have a good gaydar you know i, I want to say that especially with, with tv characters one time one character that i didn't know if it was she opened the door and i was like she gay i knew it like you know, uh, but sometimes with straight couples, I have, <laughs> it's just that with straight couples, usually they are in the same room and they happen. So it's like, you know, and it happens like that. But anyways, uh, I, I, um, I don't know. I felt something when, when they were talking, you know, it was, it was cute and it was special. Maybe it's because it's the first time they actually talk without being mean to one another. Maybe that was it. I don't know, but it was sweet. Oh, also, who was also sweet in this episode? Dawson. I was not expecting that. Because <laughs> so far, Dawson has been, you know, the, you know what I think it was? Since he is the main character, like, this story is like Dawson's Creek, you know, it's not Joey's Creek or anything like that. Um, so, but in this episode, he kind of took a step back. There were other stories happening. Pacey was the main story on this episode, and Joy was the main story with her sister and with her sister having the baby and with Jen kind of like, you know, fighting with her grandma and like the whole God thing. And 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 Dawson was just in the background with his camera being a little bit weird, but like really excited that there was drama happening and that he was experiencing something real and that he wanted to capture that. And he was really sweet with Joey and, and he didn't made it about himself, which is rare for him. So I really like this, this Dawson. Maybe we can keep this Dawson not too self-centered type of Dawson. I will really enjoy that. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the sister on this episode finally has her baby. And since it's a very out of like, out of like, out of no, they live in, in the middle of nowhere. Um, there is only one hospital available, which apparently is several miles away from them. Uh, that's one. Two, there's only one ambulance who was already attending another, you know, uh, problem. So they decided to just figure that one out and you have your baby in your home uh, we don't really care about. Uh, luckily, the the grandma, who is a nurse, or was a nurse, uh, you know, she has some sort of medical... Um, uh, knowledge and she's like i'm about to deliver the baby you know um there was a lot of blood which there shouldn't have been that much blood but okay it happened but luckily like bessie didn't even had to go to the hospital after like she was like i'm gonna take a sh okay i just gave birth i'm gonna take a shower and like go home you know and probably she went home in the same thing you know in the boat like it's insane <laughs> probably she did you know because that's the only way for joey to go to dawson's house house right oh my god imagine bessie with the baby and joey just you know or 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 maybe uh 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 body but like how crazy that will be anyways thing is that at the end of the day the 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 mrs i don't remember her name the grandma delivers the baby and kind of like it, it, like witnessing a birth i'm gonna guess is really emotional right for someone like the grandma who is very you know god how are you saying very religious I was going to say God-oriented. I don't know what the hell. She's very religious. Of course, she's going to think, oh, God made all of this happen. It was good. And like, yes, granted, if you are a believer, do it. And uh, grandma thought that at the minute that the, the baby was being born, that Jennifer just converted, you know, that she was like, oh, my God, there is an actual God, you know? <laughs> and I don't think, I don't think it's that easy, you know? Um, and also, I believe that um, you have to find your own faith, 
your own religion, your own beliefs, you know? And as someone who has been raised Catholic in a very Catholic-driven country, um, I have to tell you, every time you say that, that, well, I do believe in God. I'm not an atheist. Uh, I do believe in God. I do believe in a higher power. But the things that I believe in, the way I, I express my faith or my religion, um, it might be different from the Christians who go to church every Sunday, but then, you know, gossip behind your back or do weird shit, you know? So I, I don't like to be that hypocritical and, like, I don't believe in the, you know, in the Catholic Church. That's what I don't believe. I do believe in God and all of that, but I believe in a God of love. That's what I... But that have also come with a lot for me because there has been moments where I have feel, felt like Jennifer, whether if I believe there was a God or not, I have my own experiences with finding that and with finally getting to the conclusion that I do believe in God at the end of the day, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think it's a process for her. And I think that the, the, the grandma, I think it seemed like she's understanding that if... I don't know if she feels that if she continues to push her down that path, she might get it eventually, or she will just let God speak to her eventually, if it ever does, you know, for her to find her own peace and her own religion, you know? But I don't know if that's what the grandma will do or not. I don't know. But, yeah. It was it was uh, very interesting to see that. Uh, and honestly, because... Like, we were told, like, this is the one way you can love God and, like, this is the only way you are supposed to believe in God. And that's not true, you know? Like, I have never read the Bible. I, I don't have any intentions to do so. Um, I have read passages, okay? I'm not gonna be like, oh, I have never read it. I have read it. Some parts of it. Um, but sometimes that's just not the answer for everyone, you know? Uh, so I think that is a little bit, it's going to be a little bit challenging for both of them, for Jennifer and for her grandma, to understand each other, you know, and to understand that they both have the right to their beliefs. I think Jennifer gets that. Um, grandma maybe will get it eventually, um, but that um, at the end of the day, maybe they do believe in this higher power uh, of love, right? Also, the grandma, like, I don't understand, and that's something that I will never understand, how is it that as a Christian or as a Catholic person, how can you be racist? I understand the whole, like, she's having the baby out of the marriage and like, oh my God, like, this is the 80, like, the 1900s or something like that. And like, I will understand that. But like, for her to be racist, that is a part, and like, that happens with a lot of people also, it happens with people that are not religious as well, you know. But a lot of people within that, you know, community, um, they are. And, like, you're not supposed to judge anyone and you're supposed to love everyone. So I really don't understand why is it that... Um, um, why is it that they, they are racist? Uh, hold on a, a second. Okay, anyway, so that's something that I will never understand why people, you know, who are supposed to love a god, you know, can be racist and homophobic and, you know, and you sometimes find the extremes within these people who professes and who are there speaking about the, the word of the Lord, you know, so... Anyways, um, but it was a good episode. It was a really, really good episode. Like I said, the plus being that um, Tamar is gone. Hopefully we get more Pacey. And hopefully we get this very balanced, you know, uh, thing within all the characters, you know. I know it's Dawson's Creek. But honestly, Dawson's not the only one living here. <laughs> So if we have a if we could have a balanced thing between all the characters, especially the four main characters, I would love that. I will absolutely love that. Uh, like I said, this was a great episode. Loved it. Cannot wait for the next one. And I hope you guys are ready. Oh, oh, wait. 
the moment where where uh, Dawson talked to Joey, it was very sweet, and I really loved it, and I really love seeing this sides of Joey where she is so vulnerable, you know, where she's not her cynical self, where she is like just like you know giving the sarcastic comments. No, and she's real, and like I love that. I love that because you know it makes you look at the character in a different way, you know, because she's hilarious when she's being sarcastic. But I love that she was like, you know, she reminds me of my mom. And like, and at that moment, like she was screaming and like all she could think of was the bad things that happened with her mom. And I'm glad that, that Dawson was there to kind of remind her. But you, you loved being there for your mom. Of course, it was awful to hear her, you know, in so much pain, but you were there for her and, and you hold her hand and you were, you know, at those moments, you you knew you needed to be there and you were, you know. So I think that that was a really, really sweet uh, moment for, for Joey and for for Dawson, who really didn't make it, made it about himself, right? He did mention, oh, my mom's gonna love when I tell her uh, <laughs> what happened in her living room. But other than that, he was, he was really sweet. He was really sweet. Um, but yeah, anyways, give a lot of thumbs up if you love Dawson's Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. Uh, on Patreon, I'm always like one or two episodes ahead sometimes, so if you guys want to check that out, like I said, the link's in the description. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. hope you guys continue supporting for more, and I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>